Okay, tell me just a bit about this computer. How many you made and when you made it? Okay, so this is, uh, we started designing in 74. We designed it as a kit because we wanted to keep the price low and Heath kit was real popular at the time. So we figured, well, everybody would like to put their own computer together. So we sold it as a kit and this is the main board, the CPU board, then we had a memory board and a power supply board. And then eventually we came out with an audio board and a few other accessory boards. Uh, but this is the um, the CPU board, and it's unserialized, so it was probably one of the first ones that I used for testing. And it says 1975, and 6502 CPU and the I/O chips, and then memory chips. And you said about 5,000 of those were sold, plus the 5,000. No, yeah, for the first. Mm -hmm. So pretty rare, actually. That's not very many. It seemed like a lot at the time. But yeah. And we, being young engineers, we didn't know how to market it, so we hired a uh, marketing firm out of Palo Alto called Paheco. And this P-E-H-A-C-O were the first two letters of the founders of that company. No, that was their wife's first two initials. Oh. And so they ended up doing some international marketing for us. They did a two-spread advertising in the electronic magazine and bike magazine I think and those are on the internet I, I yeah, still they see are. those ads mm -hmm. and so they took like 15% of the sales for that marketing and really because of that we were able to sell so many and then they so what did they sell for uh, this is 149 pretty much 149 per board mm -hmm. in uh, in part form and then this was like 249 I think this was the result of the jolt because companies said we don't want to have our people solder because that's not what we do. Would you make a version that's already soldered and tested and a little more powerful so we can embed it inside our controllers and our equipment? So we priced it at 249 all ready to go. And you just add a power supply to it and hook up your I.O. cables. Now, no one of the first applications was, uh, was an earthquake seismology, seismologist equipment in L.A. So they bought it and programmed it to uh, look for earthquakes. So that was one of the first applications that, that I know of. And the interesting thing, it says there's perhaps some people still using this, or yes. at least recently. When the... We were bought out by Honeywell Corporation eventually, and when they decided not to continue the product line, our senior technician said he'd like to buy the rides. And then he started a company called Sim Systems out of Santa Clara, San Jose right now. And he reprogrammed it to uh, test the hard of hearing handicap kids. And to my knowledge, a few years ago, he's still shipping his system with the Board. He makes it himself. He, you know, he bought all the rights, so he just mm -hmm. makes the circuit boards. And I don't think it's high volume, but it's yeah. still in production. <laughs> and so, how many would you say were made of the Super Jolt? 30,000? Probably, yeah, probably twenty, thirty. Before he bought it, and I don't know what his yeah. quantity is. He's been low volume, though, apparently. Yeah. yeah. And my partner and I, we spent a very, very long lunch trying to decide what to name these. Well, my partner was Hispanic, and uh, Holt in Spanish is Dolt. And after running through all kinds of names, he says, let's get out of here. We'll just call it Jolt, since I call you that all the time. So we went with Jolt. So it's Holt. <laughs> and again, what does that mean? Uh, Jolt is Spanish for Holt. Jolt is Spanish? <laughs> oh, okay. How about Because they never called me Holt. Oh, it's you hey Joel. Joel, we got a meeting. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because uh, the H is a J in Spanish. Yeah. yeah okay. Right. Yeah. Holt or something Jolt. like that. I mean, he would say Jolt. it in Spanish, but it would come out Jolt. 